So just a couple of days ago, Disney actress Snow White star Rachel Zegler went on her Instagram while on intermission for her Broadway play of Romeo and Juliet to basically, well, attack half her audience, which thankfully this was caught by uh, Steph Ann, my nerdy home over on X. And <laughs> I did a video on this the other day. The, I mean, she, she's just unhinged. I mean, some would say, you know, okay, she's, she's young and dumb. Well, she knew exactly what she was doing, in my opinion. In fact, I know she knew what she was doing because the last statement she made in her little rant was, fuck Donald Trump. Well, it turns out somebody must have gotten to her ear Probably somebody high up at Disney. As uh, this is from Bounding Into Comics, Disney Snow White star Rachel Zegler offers public apology after calling for Donald Trump and his supporters to never know peace. Says she let my emotions get the best of me. Oh yeah, whatever. Excuses, excuses, excuses. So the article covers the statement she made. You know, telling people to get off of X because. Elon supports Trump and Trump supporters like, like the title says, will never know peace. And there's no help, no counsel in any of them. I can go on, but I won't. I feel sad. You probably do too. Fuck this. And then of course she ended it with a fuck Donald Trump. Well, fast forward to last night <laughs> when this was posted. And uh, I'll pick up the article here. Alas, this bravado did not last. As on the evening of November, it was actually November 14th last night, Zegler returned to her Instagram to sincerely apologize for the election post I shared on my Instagram last week. No, it was just a couple of days ago. As readers may note, Zegler's admissions that she made the above post last week, presumably sometime immediately following the election, does not line up with Steph Ann's apparent discovery of them on December, or actually November 12th, 13th. To this end, it's unclear whether Zegler's recollection was mistaken or my nerdy home discovered the post long after they were made. I would say the posts were made sometime between the 7th and the 13th. Just narrow down the time frame. So here we go. This is Rachel Zegler. Hi, everyone. I would like to sincerely apologize for the election post I shared on my Instagram last week. I let my emotions get the best of me. Hatred and anger have caused us to move further and further away from peace and understanding, and I am sorry I contributed to the negative discourse. This week has been emotional for so many of us but I firmly believe that everyone has the right to their opinion, even when it differs from my own. I am committed to contributing positively toward a better tomorrow. Now, this is probably one of the... One, this is a non-apology apology. Now, the only, the only slight sliver that I'll give her credit for is where she says, I firmly believe that everyone has the right to their opinion. Yeah, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Picking up the article here, at current, it's unknown whether Zegler made this apology of her own volition or because Disney contractually ordered her to do so out of fear that her previous comment could hurt Snow White's box office prospects. Hurt box office prospects for Snow White. Um, those prospects were were dashed <laughs> when she made her comments at D23 a while back when she called uh, the story in Prince Charming weird and said that the new Snow White has nothing to do with the old Snow White. It's a reimagination. Snow White's a girl boss. She's She's finding herself to be a leader, not to mention the trailer, which has got 
ratio to death over on YouTube. And, and just the little clips that have been released out there uh, of the, the famous whistle why you work scene with the seven dwarfs has been totally reimagined. Um, so box office prospects. This movie is going to lose millions. Millions. Regardless whether or not her statement does anything to win back audiences will ultimately be determined when the live action film hits theaters on March 21st, 2025. So let's take a look at a few of the comments here, shall we? Uh... You are being quietly canceled. Goodbye. Maybe Eva Longoria has a room for you. Yeah, maybe Eva Longoria does have a room for her in uh, Mexico or Spain. Because that's where Eva Longoria moved to because she couldn't, she just couldn't live with her family in the dystopian United States anymore. Which of her two statements do you think was heartfelt? Which was carefully crafted by a professional publicist doing damage control? One of those statements is more sincere and revealing than the other. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Ah, her first statement was heartfelt. This statement here, this was done by a publicist. <laughs> this statement here was damage control. <laughs> her manager obviously got a call from Disney who told her that she better apologize. She doesn't mean a single word of it. Yep, exactly. If you see a radical leftist apologizing to Trump fans and she was either forced by the producers or having calmed down, she herself realized where she got into trouble. No, th this, this apology was forced. That's my opinion. Can't prove it, but I, I, I would almost say that somebody at Disney probably got a hold of her management team and said, you need to make a statement. So there you go. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please, if you would, it, a couple things you can do here to support the channel. It's free. Smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, TGIF, everyone, it's Friday. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you guys.